What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is about PlayStation VR, the virtual reality headset that is taking the world by storm. I really enjoy PSVR. I think it has a very special place in my gaming setup. Do I use it every day? No. But do I have a lot of fun when I do use it? Absolutely. PlayStation VR is not perfect by a long shot, but I think for the price and for what it's capable of doing, it's one of the best headsets you can get on the market right now. The Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive are two of the, the higher end headsets that exist out there in the market. And unsurprisingly, they're capable of a little bit more than the PlayStation VR, but Sony is working to improve the PlayStation VR headset in some pretty interesting ways. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation VR to get improved tracking and 3D Blu-ray playback in the next PS4 update. Among other additions to the console's base experience, the forthcoming PS4 system update 4.50 will bring improved tracking and 3D Blu-ray playback to Sony's PlayStation VR headset. In time for the launch of Farpoint and the PSVR AIM controller, the PSVR system software update 4.50 will launch with tracking improvements that apply to objects tracked with the PlayStation camera, including the Move controllers and AIM controller. That's according to the developers working on PSVR and Farpoint during a session of GDC 2017, where it was also confirmed that Farpoint would launch on May 16th and include co-op. PSVR Tracking Improvements When asked to detail the tracking improvements, the developers didn't share specifics, except to say that the changes were derived from the work with the AIM controller, but apply to tracking in general. The improvements are also applicable to all PSVR games following the PS4 software update 4.50 without requiring per game updates. The developers cautions that users shouldn't expect more changes to tracking performance, but apparently felt the improvements notable enough to warrant mention during the session. Speaking with other developers working closely on PSVR, Road to VR was told that PSVR tracking has in fact been improved since the October launch of the headset. Most of the improvements to this point have come in the management of edge cases, like extreme lighting situations. It isn't clear if the changes coming with PS4 system update 4.50 are more or less significant than other previous tracking improvements. Easy Aim Development At the same GDC session, the developers explained that the PlayStation VR Aim Controller, which is due to launch alongside Farpoint in May, will have support built directly into the PSVR SDK which means the developers can target the peripheral easily without needing to deal with additional software or plugins. It was shown during a session that incorporating the AIM controller as a source of input is also identical to doing so with the PS4 controller. That ease of development will hopefully see the controller supported widely for shooter-style VR games. The company has also confirmed that in addition to Farpoint, the Brookhaven experiment will also see support, and that Sony is working on multiple new first-party titles with support for the AIM controller. 3D Blu-ray Playback In addition to PSVR tracking improvements, Sony confirmed back in February that the PSVR system software update 4.50 will add 3D playback on PSVR for supported Blu-rays. Presently, you can watch Blu-ray discs inside the PSVR headset on the virtual screen. But even if the movie supports 3D, you'll still see a flat image. The update will add depth to the screen as defined by the movie. PSVR currently supports 3D playback on some other platforms but Blu-ray was left out until now. Sony has not confirmed that the update will launch, except that it will come before Farpoint's May 16 release date. So this is really good news. Uh, Any time that you can improve your hardware and make it more accessible and make it easier to use is a great thing. Now, I actually own the Brookhaven Experiment on PSVR. It's a great game. You're like in the middle of a field or inside of a building and there's enemies coming from every corner and you gotta turn and do 360 spins around and shoot enemies and all this stuff. It's a great game and to hear that they're actually adding uh, more improved tracking to this game really makes me want to definitely see that after 4.50 comes out. I don't own any 3D Blu-rays but now after this update I'm definitely going to try it out just so I can kind of get more into the experiences I have at home. You guys leave your thoughts on PSVR in the comments below. Do you own one? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And are you looking forward to seeing these new updates to the hardware? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can share your videos and support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.